And so when you, each moment that you're awake, life is completely new. So to be awake is to continually discover each moment. So it's never the same old thing. You know. There is no boredom. Even if you do the exact same thing and have the same little routine, simple little routine, every single day in the same little apartment or whatever, it is absolutely new. Now, isn't that far out? You kind of wonder, how could somebody live in a cave for 12 years? You know, I remember um, <clears throat> when I was sitting long retreats, you know, like month-long retreats, where you're meditating all day in silence for about a month. And I was had some friends, and I, they said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm going off to this meditation. I told them I was doing They're going, you're doing what? You're crazy. <laughs> so I can't even sit still for five minutes. <laughs> or a friend of mine told me that. But what we're finding here is how to how to feel the infinite richness of stillness, of just being, which is peace, which is harmony, which is real love, which is gratitude. Because when you give, when you fully realize the truth, you are simultaneously giving yourself completely and receiving completely, simultaneously. That's what in the teaching lingo is referred to as transmission. So when we have this setup here, this little laboratory hanging out place, it's a kind of mirror, it's a kind of amplification for that, fully receiving, fully giving. So even when we have the dialogue and people come up and they offer something, it's not like we're doing, you know, problem solving or career counseling or <laughs> relationship counseling or whatever. Even though somebody may mention some conditional thing that's happening, it's more that they're offering it. They're just this is too simple, but I'm going to say it. They're just telling the truth. Just telling it like it is. Not, oh, well, I shouldn't be upset about this because, or I shouldn't really, or, well, I know I will be okay, or, you know, whatever, or nothing. It's just, this is the truth of the condition. No shame, no blame, no need to be perfect. And somehow in that offering, there's a release of the personal, a freedom from the identity and constriction of the personal self. And we have this awakening moment, opportunity for that. And that's a unified field where we merge or we realize we are not separate at all. That we are truly space and energy, just like they know when they go into the atom. The structure of an atom is, from what I understand, basically space and energy. And we really are that, and we become, we realize we are that. Not we believe it or that now we've convinced that we are. It's reality. 